Tonight, we've got a preseason matchup as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and we finally made it, partner, through the winter, through the spring, now into the summer, and football finally back. And during that time off, we all cherish our vacation time, but admit it, you're the same as me. When you were working out, when you were doing things, you thought about football, didn't you? And you couldn't wait to be back up here again. set to go Evan McPherson to do the honors and we are underway from Cincinnati Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 so here are the new look Packers set to go to work and at the helm here in 2023 a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season Jordan Love this is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because he's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers, and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. Love going to throw right away. He's able to find Melton. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Running on first down is Jones, but he's not going to get much, maybe a couple. And it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Jones. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. 
And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. It's so opening drive, third down. They go with a slant. It works. And I'm wondering when the league's going to figure it out because everyone throws it on third down. You expect pressure, so you want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback quickly. It's a three-step route ordinarily, and you're throwing it where you see the receiver breaking towards you. So it's an inside route. Everyone likes it, and it's executed very well. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Love going to give this one to Jones. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Defensively, Sam Hubbard, the former Buckeye, there to stop him. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now Love. He gets that one, completes a Wicks. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes, and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. On first and ten, Love. Throw right side, going to be complete to DeGuara. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Well, whatever script they put together for this offensive drive, Charles, seems to be working. I'm curious to see if this defense will make any adjustments here. Things certainly going according to plan, aren't they? I mean, the way they're advancing the football, it's like they're on the practice field having one of their better days. But instead, it's game day, and they're moving the ball downfield with purpose. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. On the counter, here's Jones. And that is not going to get it done either. Once again, he's stopped behind the line by this Bengals D. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Two running plays go backwards. So what's the call on third and 13 now? Here's Love. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Bengals are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Well, no doubt, a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drop. They had three points in their back pocket. It was there for them. If you don't like what you see, just throw it away. Make sure you get those points on the board. Don't get too greedy. He forced it there. You saw the end result.
Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 11. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Short throw to Smith. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now a three-time 1,000-yard rusher, Joe Mixon. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. First and 10, Joe Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. now burrow on first down and that one drops down incomplete good coverage there forced the ball free and it's second down burrow gonna give this to mix it it's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he had great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? Territory now. Here's first and ten at the 44-yard line. Now it's Burrow. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Then their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. On second down, here's Mixon. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 42 yards rushing so far, and this is just their first possession. They've got a new set of downs here. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Back to Mixon on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. They'll run for the first time with Chris Evans. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. 
Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Mixon with a first down carry. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. Got it to make it 7 0 Bengals. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Across the line and to the ball quickly there, Trey Hendrickson. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Throwing. Love. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, they certainly not giving much up to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Inside handoff to Mixon. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. We got three, we got three, we got three. Five, seven, five, seven. Once again, they run with Mixon. 
And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the gun to give to Mixon. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here as they go to work on a first and goal. They'll run here with Evans. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Chris Evans taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bengals go up by two touchdowns. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we're running here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. McPherson on for the point after. And it's good to make it 14-0. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was finished off by Chris Evans' touchdown run. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And Ballantyne going to sit on this one. That'll be a touchback. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Pass complete across the formation to Melton. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Looking to throw, Clifford. That's complete to Wicks. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 
11 more on that one and another first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Melton on the jet sweep. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Two yards to go, second down. Back to throw is Clifford. Into the hands of Nichols. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing. And they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Here's Clifford. Fighting to stay upright. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 21. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. Clifford looking to throw it on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and ten. Clifford to throw. His throw caught right around the six. And it's a Packers touchdown. Samori Toure from 21 yards away. And the Packers have got it back to within a score. Now that's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And that one makes it 14 to 7. So that one an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Ready to go on offense, out come the Bengals. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They'll begin on the ground with Evans. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down in a yard. Well, you got to think Charles Atwin's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. Evans gets it again on second down. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. They'll try to run for this with Evans. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Nine yards that time. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. and 10, Simeon. Looking middle, and that's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Now Simeon. He finds his man, complete. It's Morgan. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him think. By that yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. So first and 10 now from the 30. A give up the middle to Evans. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Escaping the pressure right. He'll flip this out to Evans. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. There's Evans again, complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Check 45, 
They'll run on first down with Evans. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Evans gets it again on second down. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 46 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Ten, it's Evans. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. A good run, eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Let's go, defense. Let's go. Evans will take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. McPherson now for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was finished off by Chris Evans' touchdown run. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Ballantyne opting not to return it, and his guys will have it at the 25. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Clifford. This pass complete to Melton. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Clifford setting up play action. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. But defensively, they're doing everything they can to protect this early lead after giving up a touchdown on their last drive.
The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. Clifford will throw it here. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Pat O'Donnell coming out for Green Bay on fourth down. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They start the drive with Evans, and he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. On the draw, it's Evans. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Third and nine here. On third down, here's Evans, and he'll get nothing out of that one. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. That's taken on the 25. A good return there, 17 yards. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive, first and 10. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now it's Clifford. This one into the hands of the rookie, Luke Musgrave. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down now, but that clock rolling. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's taken down inside the 30. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And Clifford to throw it. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Credit that to the former Texas Longhorn, Joseph Osai, who got in there. And this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Flush to his right, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. 
Gardner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So here now the rookie sixth rounder, Anders Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And his kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. And this taken in at the goal line. And a pretty poor return as he will dive to the ground to give himself up. And the Bengal offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. And just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. 74 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. preseason matchup of the year as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Back to you guys in just a minute as we've started the countdown to opening night. Remember, the preseason has shrunk from four games down to three. So just two more weeks of preseason action follow this and then we get it all started on the first Thursday after Labor Day in our game. Most of the starters have made their cameo and departed, but plenty of youngsters out there with a lot to gain or lose as we get you right back out to Brandon God. Probably not likely to see many starters in half as we get back at it underway in this preseason opener. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Here 
Here comes third down at seven. To throw is Simeon. Eluding the pressure right. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there. A big pickup on third down. They'll try the left side with Evans. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Here's Simeon, flushed out right, and that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. A shotgun snap for Simeon. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. So on fourth down, on is Evan McPherson and the Bengal field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And the lead grows to 14 at 24 to 10. And they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And Ballantyne going to sit on this one. That'll be a touchback. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. 
Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Can't ask for much more than that. A 50-yard punt followed by a loss on the return. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Browning. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. To throw, Browning. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. I know that no game in the NFL is ever easy, but they're making it look that way. Everything is being done with such precision. Just on this drive alone, three plays, three first downs. If you're on defense, you're scrambling, looking at each other, trying to figure out how are we going to slow these guys down? to pick up about four at second down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time, every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that, and that really chips away at your confidence. Now Browning. He finds his man complete. It's Morgan. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 14. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
Evans running behind center. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Here's second and seven. Operating from the gun, Browning. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Wilson. And the Packers are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. the loss second and 12. But these guys got to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. Goodson. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. And we've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, standing right on his own five-yard line. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47th. 
Well, Charles, we get a look at the draft class here for this team. What do you think? Well, I think for the most part, I do like what they did because to me, they got some solid players in the early rounds. And then if I'm correct in my evaluation, they got some great value in the later rounds as well. Another run for Brown on second down. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there at a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On first and 10, here's Brown. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Right back to Brown. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Here's Brown on second down. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, Sometimes a thing of beauty. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll give this up the middle to Brown. And he gets this inside the ten to the nine. It's also a gain of nine. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Line of scrimmage, the nine, second and about a yard. Here's a handoff to Evans out of the gun. And he'll be brought down here at the three yard line. 92 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Brown. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. In the backfield by himself is Brown. Second and goal. He's going to get it again. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop it. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. And McPherson on for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. 
That time, a nine-play drive. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Valentine opting not to return it, and his guys will have it at the 25. The Packers offense set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Now here's a throw that's complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Clifford working from the gun. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Clifford to throw on second down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. They right, call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. Second down throw from Clifford. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive.
Clifford looking to throw it again. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. On fourth down, here they go, Clifford. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Packers unable to pick up the first, and the Bengals will get the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth, and we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. And they'll begin here with a run by Brown. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run. But this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense. But yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. So from the 37, here's second down at a yard. They keep it on the ground. Again, it's Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this whole line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Straight ahead, it's Evans. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. This is Brown going up the middle. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They go right back to the ground here in Brown. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. This is Brown on the draw play. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. 
From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Evans running straight ahead, and he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Early down stuff will put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Running right, here's Brown. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. They will toss to Brown. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set them back for second down. And that's a major league loss of yardage and probably loss of momentum. You're snapping the ball to the one-yard line before you suffer that big loss. Yeah, you think of losing any yardage from the one is bad to go that far back. That's a disaster. And I think the play-calling sequence that maybe the OC had in his head that's got to change on the fly now. It's second and goal back to the eight yard line now. An inside give, Brown. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. Third down, here's Brown. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Chase Brown, ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bengals have opened up a four touchdown lead here in the fourth. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And certainly this, not the performance that they were hoping for to begin the exhibition season, but still plenty to watch for in this fourth quarter. First down throw from Clifford. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Back to throw. Clifford. And this is going to be intercepted. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it, Kurt Coleman? Oh, yeah, that's then right. With the Eagles? That's right. He's then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Gross. That's correct. Handing it off to Brown. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Another run for Brown on second down. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time they face a third and two. Here's a give to Brown. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the handoff, this is Brown. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. Brandon, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. They give it to Brown. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A tackle that time by Jonathan Ford. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. So from the 17, here's second and seven. Everybody 
he was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. On second down, Evans looking for space. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. to the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Ballantyne now from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Clifford now on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun, Clifford. And that is incomplete. Now he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Cincinnati set to take over once again. They lead big. Quite the kickoff, really, to this exhibition schedule as they start once more with a first and ten. They defer to Brown to start the drive. 
And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. So first and 10 now from the 30. Right back to Brown. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here's Brown on second down. And he's got a Bengals first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. in prime time this offense they gave the nation quite a show putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them and brandon i think it's as simple as this some players some teams they're just meant for the big stage and when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly they show up and they show out so that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.